I will proceed to uh, the next case for uh, falling head uh, submerged condition. So this time we are considering two tanks, that is from the source tank and the uh, receiver. So for example, we have the area of the first tank as tank number uh, area one, and for the second tank area number uh, two. So from this tank, we'll be having a discharge. Let's see this discharge one. By like log continuity, uh, ay, kung ano yung nawawalang tubig dito or liquid from the first tank, yun yung tinatanggap ng no? uh, kabila. So we have uh, discharge number one is equal to discharge uh, number two. Okay, so if you're to apply calculus, let's say this is, uh, this is the differential head of the first, uh, first tank, which is, its direction is uh, downward, ito naman, ang mangyayari, Kasi this is differential head number 2, so ang direction nito is obviously, uh, is possibly upward. But the total differential head, kasi this is the total difference between two, uh, the, the two surfaces of water uh, from the two tanks is uh, dH. So Q1 is equal to uh, Q2. So we have uh, calculus, this is differential volume 1 divided by differential time is equal to Differential volume number 2, this is divided by differential time. So you may cancel first uh, for this case, yung differential time. So differential volume 1 is area 1. Differential head number 1 is equal to uh, differential volume number 2, that will be area 2. That is uh, area number 2, differential head number uh, number 2. So we will be having the equivalent of differential head number 2 is then equal to Area 1 divided by area 2 differential head uh, 1. The total differential head dh is equal to uh, dh1 plus we have dh2. So we have the total differential head is now equal to this is dh1 plus the equivalent of differential head number 2 that is area 1 divided by area 2 differential head number uh, 1. So we may factor out uh, dh1 the total differential head is equal to dh1 this is multiplied by 1 plus uh, that will be area 1 divided by area 2 or uh, we have total dh is now equal to this is dh1 multiplied by 1 uh, that is common denominator area 2 this is area 2 plus area 1 yes. simplify ko lang yung uh, portion there Equate natin to dh1, that is, uh, dh1 is now equal to area 2 times the total differential head dh divided by area, rearrange ko lang, area 1 plus area number uh, 2. So again, kung ano man yung nawawalang volume from the source, yes, yun yung tinatanggap ng kabila. We may just consider 1. So let's say consider natin yung first. That is, uh, discharge 1 is equal to differential volume 1. This is supposedly negative because it's nawawala sa kanya. Divided by the differential uh, time. Differential time is equal to negative. Differential volume 1 is area 1 dh1. This is divided by uh, discharge. So that is C sub d. Area of the orifice. Square root of 2g times, uh, that is times the uh, my total head. Then, we are to substitute ano ba yung equivalent na? What is equivalent of uh, dh1? Okay? So, we have now the differential time is now equal to uh, negative area 1 the equivalent of differential head number 1 is equal to area 2 differential head divided by area 1 plus area 2. So this is all over, uh, we have C sub D, area of the orifice, the square root of 2G, that is the head, uh, raised to 1 half. So sinaparate ko lang, but it's D square root of H din yan, kasama sa D to sa 2GH. Then we are to simplify, this is differential time, is na equal to negative, area 1, area 2, divided by C sub D, we are to separate the constants from the uh, variable. You have area of the orifice, the square root of 2G, 
Okay? So, nawala. Wala hindi na lang ilagay ito. So, this is area 1, area 2. This is divided by area 1 plus area 2, C sub D, area of the orifice, the square root of uh, 2G. Ito yan. Then, itataas ko to that will be 8 raised to negative uh, 1 half. Then, if you are to integrate both sides of the equation, this is from 0 to T. This will be the time equal to negative area 1, area 2, okay, divided by area 1 plus area 2, C sub D, area of the orifice, square root of 2G. This is the integral from H1 to from the initial head to the final head. So take note, initial head and final head, uh, initial difference in water level or surface level and the final uh, difference in uh, surface level of each liquid, uh, of the liquid from each uh, tank. So this is the same as we have 8 raised to negative 1 half plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1. To be evaluated from the initial head to the final, okay, final head. So we have the time is now equal to, okay, negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half, reciprocal, that is 2. So we have negative 2, area 1 times area 2, this is divided by area 1 plus area 2, we have C sub D, area of the orifice, the square root of uh, 2G. So this is uh, multiplied by, okay, so negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. And raised to 1 half is the same as square root. That is the square root of the upper limit, 8 sub 2, minus the square root of the lower limit, 8 sub 1. So ito naman yung formula if we have a submerged condition or if we are dealing with the fluid flow, from one tank to the other tank through an orifice. So let's have an example. Okay, so let's have an example. So two vertical cylindrical tank. Okay, one is 5 meters in diameter and the other is 8 meters in diameter. Are connected by a short tube having a cross sectional area of uh, 0 0.004 square meter with C or that is the coefficient of discharge 0 0.6 located at the bottom portion where the tube is uh, when the tube is closed so again, when the tube is closed the water surface in the smaller tank is 10 meters higher than the bigger tank so this is the smaller tank 5 meters in diameter so it will be Okay, 10 meters higher than the surface of the uh, the surface of water in the smaller tank, and that will be our initial, okay, the initial head. So first requirement, data, determine the time elapsed for the water surface in each tank to be at the same uh, level. That will be a uh, letter A. So same level. Ano daw yung uh, time? Okay, for the next requirement. Determine the time elapsed for the difference in water level to be uh, 4 meters. So, level difference uh, level difference is uh, 4 meters. Okay. What will be or what will be the time uh, elapsed? Okay, so first requirement is how long will it take before the water surfaces of these two tanks will be at the same uh, level. That will be for a uh, letter by uh, letter A. So we have the given area of the orifice C sub D, our initial head. So we have the initial head is equal to 10 meters. Ang nawawala lang so far is what is our final? Uh, what is our final head? So take note uh, that if we are dealing with the heads, H1 and H2. This is okay, the difference in uh, water uh, level. So, pag sinabi na the same level, what will be the difference in the liquid surfaces kapag the same level na? So, obviously, kapag the same level na, okay, 
Hopefully, malinaw yun. Kapag the same level lang, there's no difference in liquid surface. Do you agree? So, di ba kapag the same level na sila, sila so which means, okay, your final head will be equal to a zero. Same level, there's no difference in liquid surface or pwede natin i-reward yung question that is the same as gaano katagal bago tumigil yung flow. So, take note na kapag uh, walang uh, ibang pressure na involved, kapag ang um, liquid uh, from this source to the receiver, if they are on the same level or same elevation, titigil na yung flow. Kumbaga, balance na kasi yung pressure. Okay? So, your, uh, kapag zero difference in water level, that is the same as your uh, final head. So, for now, we have time. So, two, negative area 1 times area 2. This is twice. Divided by area 1 plus area 2. We have C sub D. Area of the orifice, the square root of 2G, multiplied by the square root of the final head minus the square root of the initial head. So, by substitution, we have the time is equal to negative twice. What is area 1? Gamit na ako ng diameter. That is 5 squared pi. This is divided by 4. Area 2 is... We have 8 squared pi. This is divided by uh, 4. So, all over. Again, we have area 1. We have 5 squared pi. This is divided by 4. Plus 8 squared pi divided by uh, 4. Okay, then we have... Okay, C sub D. Yung C sub D is given as 0 0.6. We have the area of the orifice is given as 0 0.004. Uh, multiplied by the square root of twice of 9.81. This is multiplied by the square root of the final head, that is 0, minus the square root of the initial head, that is okay, 10. So we are determined okay, how long will it take? Siguro kahit in seconds na lang. Okay, so we have the time record will be equal to 8,400.19 seconds. So, magi, uh, yung water surfaces will be on the same level or at the same time, titigil na yung flow. magi stop na yung uh, flow after 8,400.19 seconds. Okay, so yung next requirement naman, that is for letter B. For letter B, sabi niya, gaano matagal bago yung water difference, uh, level of, uh, the difference in level of the surfaces will be 4 meters. Kung baga, okay, nandiyan na yung ating initial, uh, initial head or initial water surface difference that is 10 meters. So, ito, madadagdagan, aakyat yan. So, let's say, ito na yung final. Ito naman, bababa. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng uh, panibagong water surface uh, difference in a uh, level that will be 4 meters. So, for letter B, ganun ba rin, our initial head is equal to 10 meters. So, ano naman yung ating final head? The initial head is 10 meters. What is the final head? So, take note if we say head, that is the difference in uh, the level of the water surface. Ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng elevations nila? So, sabi naman yan, gano'n ako tagal bago yung difference in water surface will be 4 meters. Take note that this difference in water surface na 4 meters is the same as that. Head number 2. That will be our my final head. Now, when you say head, that is the difference in water level. 
Okay? Difference mo itong level between the two uh, tanks. So, almost direct substitution lang tayo for this formula. We have the time. Is equal to negative 2. Ang papalitan lang natin dito is yung final head. Gawin nyo lang 4 instead of uh, 0. So, we have negative 2. We have 5 squared pi. This is divided by 4. I multiplied by 8 squared pi. This is divided by 4. I divided by... 5 squared pi divided by 4 plus 8 squared pi over 4. We have the coefficient of discharge 0 0.6. And of the orifice 0 0.004. This is multiplied by the square root of twice of 9.81. I multiplied by the square root of 4 minus the square root of 10. So let's compute for the time elapsed. Ito 4 meters yung difference. Ito naman. Uh, zero. So, mas matagal ito. We're expecting na yung sagot natin dyan should be less than 8,400. So we have the total of equal to 3087.443 seconds. So ito naman. So, yeah. so 4 meters pa lang yung difference eh. So papuntang same level pa lang. So it should be less than 8,000. Alright. And that's our example for this case. Okay. 